Hello everyone and welcome to my if else basics tutorial video for Python 3. The idea of the if else pairing is to add one more layer of logic to the usage of your if statement here. So the else statement can actually be used in quite a few other ways like with wow, for, and another one we haven't even covered yet and that's except. Here the basic idea is to ask if something is the case like we did before. If it is the case, do something. Otherwise, do something else. So in this case, let's just you know print stuff out. So to start, let's define a couple variables again. So we'll say x equals 5, y equals 8 again. And now let's say if x is greater than y, print uh, x is greater than y. And then we come down here and we say else. And there's really nothing more to it. You don't have to tie these to each other or anything like that. Python just will automatically understand that they go together. And if you put multiple if statements, which I'll show you in a little bit, it will only apply to that most recent if. So more on that in a little bit. But uh, else print x is not greater than y. So let's save and run this. And we see x is indeed not greater than y. This if statement never ran. And because this if statement never ran, the else was triggered. But if we flip this around and we ran it, um, we got x is greater than y, even though it's less than, but we flipped the sign. But we, this else statement never ran because this if statement ran. But the same thing that you can do is you could say you can run this if statement, and then you could obviously you could throw in another if statement. So if x is greater than 55, print x is greater than 55. Save, run. And what we get here is x is greater than y, and then x is not greater than y. So this if statement, because we left it like this, uh, ran. But now if we run it, the only thing that runs is the else statement. But if we make this statement a true statement, so x is less than 55, and we run it, we get x is uh, greater than 55 and nothing else. So this if statement never ran, but because this if statement ran, the else uh, did not run. So as long as it's triggered, it, that else is um, not going to run. So that brings up the next question for some people is, um, one, how can you enter or how should you enter multiple if statements in here? Uh, and then also, what if you actually only need like one if statement? Like um, if you want to have like if something is the case or if something else is the case or if something else is the case, do something. Otherwise, you know, do something. So multiple ifs and then else, but mo these multiple ifs are tied together kind of as one big if, you know. Uh, so to do something like that, you would actually use a new command, and that is going to be the elif statement. Otherwise, you know, it's short for else if. And that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions, and stay tuned to the next video.